I don't think I've ever done this topic before on my channel. Um, if I have, I think it might have only been once before, but I looked for that video and I can't find it, so I don't think I actually did a video. I think I'm thinking of a blog post. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a little different. It's not going to be about hair. It is not. So, you know, why don't you just stick around and just follow me along on this journey. Hi, I'm Leah and welcome to my channel. This is where I share simple tips and product reviews for relaxed hair, oily skin care, and makeup to help you look great, feel great, and live great. So yes, this video was very different than a lot of the other ones on my channel because it's not about hair. It is about my nails. That's right. This video is all about my using the Dashing Diva nail strips for the very first time. I don't talk about my nails much though because there really isn't anything to say. That's why I haven't done this type of video before. I only paint my toenails because for some reason my fingernails don't take to nail polish well. And after the last manicure that I got, which was on a bit of a whim, the nail polish just started chipping literally as I was walking out of the door of the nail salon. And that's kind of what happens even when I do it at home. I will paint my nails and then literally within the next few minutes, it starts chipping. I know I could probably do things like the dip polish and the gel polish, but I really don't want to try those things because I know some people who have used them and it's really weakened their nails. And my nails are already on the weaker side, so I don't want to do anything that could potentially really make them weaker. So that's where Dash and Diva comes in. I've had my eye on these for a while and even bought a set earlier this year during a sale at Ulta and I just never use them and they've been sitting in a container. Uh, we're not going to be using those. The ones I'm using are the ones I recently bought. These are more of a fall color, I felt like. And I didn't do a video also with those other ones because I just didn't have the right setup when I was staying at my parents' house to record it. But now that I'm settled in my own place and realized the tools that I need to be able to give you overhead shots of me doing my nails, I felt now is the perfect time to do this video. So here we go. Before we get into the nail video let's talk a little a bit about dashing diva so let's go ahead and look them up on the trusty phone and i can give you all the deets about this company and these nails okay so looking up dashing diva on their website they started in 2003 and their whole purpose is to be able to make it fun and easy to get a show-stopping manicure in the comfort of your own home so they have various different types of nail products um that you can get from them they've got their glaze 14 day gel nail strips they've got their gloss ultra shine 14 day gel nail strips they've also got their seven day press-ons and then they've got some different vitamin infused nail care products as well to kind of go along with it so i literally thought i got the glaze but i got the gloss ones um, and these are ultra shine and they're supposed to last up to 14 days. And so you get like salon gel effects. You have no UV drying time. You don't have to soak to remove them. And they're supposed to be chip resistant, which is really exciting for me because I'm always having issues with chipping when I get a manicure. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and change locations and I'm going to prep my nails and go ahead and get ready to put these on. I'm gonna walk you through my entire process. I've watched several videos of others putting these types of nails on, so hopefully I'll be able to get it and not be totally frustrated when I'm doing it because that will not be fun for anybody. Oh, and before I go, what shade did I get? I think I know what the shade is. But where does it say it on here? The shade I got is called Moody Mauve. So I felt this was very fall, so I'm excited. Let's jump into the application process. First, I went ahead and prepped my nails by washing my hands, wiping down my nails with nail polish remover and rubbing alcohol. I did that all off camera. So now that my nails are prepped, we're gonna go ahead and open up this box and get those strips out. That sounds weird when I say that. In the box, once I get it open, there are several different things. Let's see what actually is in here. So it looks like I've got the instructions, uh, what looks like a prep pad, the nail strips, of course, and a nail file. All right, so I think I've got everything I need to get these strips on. I took a look at the instructions and it says that you should prepare your cuticle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that by using a wooden cuticle pusher. As you can see, I'm not very good at doing this. I don't do my nails very often, so bear with me. 
Next, I went ahead and used the prep pad, even though I went ahead and cleaned and prepped my nails beforehand with a nail polish remover and rubbing alcohol. I figured the prep pad came in with the strips. I paid for it. Let's use it. I use it on all 10 fingers. Now here comes the hard part, <laughs> figuring out which strip to apply to which nail. So to prepare for this, I went ahead and watched several videos and it seems like it should be pretty easy to be able to determine which strip goes on which of my nails. And I'm starting with my thumb first, but it looks like all of these strips are just too big for my nail. And I don't know, is my thumbnail just small or what? So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to use the smallest thumbnail strip and put that on. So I thought the smallest one would be the perfect fit, but it's looking too big and I don't want it to cut it to size. So we're going to try another one. And this one does look like it fits better, but it actually looks like it's a little small. But the instructions did say to use one that's smaller rather than larger. So we're just gonna keep going. I'm going to press the strip down, make sure it's smooth and get out all of the bubbles, just like it says in the instructions. And then next I'll take the nail file and file off the excess strip. So what I found is that if the excess part of the strip doesn't file right off, then you can go ahead and tear it off once it becomes really loose. I did that on, off camera and here's the final result. I went ahead and finished my right hand off camera and I'm starting with my left hand. I'm starting with my thumbnail again. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and use the smallest thumbnail strip. Interestingly enough, that small thumbnail strip actually worked on my left thumb. It's the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. I'm not sure why it worked better on my left hand versus my right hand, but we're just gonna go with it. As you can see, I'm having to reposition the strip several times. This actually happened on other fingers. It's not unique to this thumb. I think part of the reason why is how I'm holding my hands so that they stay within the camera frame. I'm not able to bring my hands right up to my face, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see them. But I also think this is my first time doing the strips, so it's gonna take me a little time to get used to this process. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth down the strip to make sure it's all good and secure and then file off the excess. I'm gonna do the rest of my nails off camera so as not to bore you and make this video too long. Here's the final result. I am back. It has been like 20 minutes and I have got the nails on and this is what they look like. I mean, it looks like I've got a really nice manicure and I'm really happy with it. It's not perfect, but considering it's my first time, I am happy with it. There are a few little things that I'm going to, when I get back, um, fix with the nail file, but for the most part, I think it looks really good. There are a few things that I noticed as I was putting these on that I think I'll have to work through if I do these again. And the first thing is figuring out which strip goes on which finger. Because I the, the tips that I saw was to take it and put it over your nail and kind of see like, oh, do you see extra space, do you not? I tried that and it did not quite work for me. So I've got to figure out a better method for me to figure out which size strip goes on which nail. I think if I do these more often, I will be able to know offhand, I'll know like, oh, first one goes on this finger, third one goes on that finger. I'll be able to figure it all out. The second thing was placing them on my nail bed. Like you're supposed to place them in the center of your nail and that I found was kind of hard. I don't have the steadiest of hands. So it would be like, instead of placing it in the center, it'd be a little left, a little right. And so I'd have to pull it up and replace it. So we'll see what that might do in terms of even how long the, the strips stay on my nails. Like did that impact any of the glue and adhesive that is being used? I don't know, we'll see. Another tricky thing was filing the end part of the nail, like the extra part of the strip off of the nail. Um, just because some of my nails are kind of like short, they're not, my nails aren't very long. So some of them were like, it was really close to the skin. So it was a little harder to file it off than I've seen in videos where their nails are longer and there's more space between their actual finger and the end of their nail. So um, just something that's a little bit of a nuance, but it wasn't horrible, it wasn't difficult. And I think one thing that also made it harder was 
me trying to make sure I'm videotaping it and having this under the camera while I'm doing it instead of like moving my finger closer to my face to be able to really see stuff or, or have um, better angles to do things. So I think that made it a little more complicated. I think if I do this next time and I'm not trying to record it, it'll be a lot easier, a lot smoother, particularly because I've gone through the process. So really interested to see how these strips wear throughout the week. Do they continue looking good? Do they start chipping? Do they start falling off? I don't know. They're supposed to last 14 days, so we shall see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and record a few days during the 14 days that I'm wearing these to kind of see how they last. I will not be sharing the full 14 days in this video, so you'll have to go to my Instagram feed at a relax gal and you'll be able to see the final result of my 14 days there. Okay, I've got a nail update for you. It's been 24 hours since I put these Dashing Diva Gloss nails on and I have to tell you, I've had four nails start to peel back at the tip, which is kind of really annoying and it's kind of almost what happens when my nails start chipping, it happens at the tip. So I'm kind of annoyed by that. And actually one of them did it last night and I just replaced that strip and then that same nail did it this morning as well. So I looked online really quickly. I didn't have a lot of time this morning, but I looked online to see what I could do to avoid that and what I should do to fix it. And basically what I found to fix it, you can either file the nail down to the part where it's not lifting anymore, or you can just replace the entire strip. And I'm like, I'm not just going to be replacing strips every day. And I also can't only have so much nail to file down. So I did was able to file down those nails because interestingly enough, those nails were my longer nails that were having the issues with the peeling. The shorter nails haven't had that issue yet. So I don't know if it's a nail length thing that um, starts to make that happen. So I did file them down and then I took some clear top coat polish and just kind of put it around the tips of my nails just so that it could be probably like an extra bond. Now, when I was looking to see what I could do to fix this or make sure it doesn't happen again, I did find some conversation threads where people were talking about how the formula for these nail strips has changed. It looks like it changed in 2021 last year. And it's just not, they don't stick as well as they used to where people are saying, hey, they're starting to lift within a day and I never had that issue. They would last me seven days and they last me the full 14 days. And I wouldn't have any issue with lifting until I get to like the last couple of days of wear for these things. So they've been complaining about that. And so that could be an indication. Um, that could be one of the reasons, I mean, why it was lifting. It could also be user error. My first time applying these, maybe I just didn't, you know, push them down well enough or do the removal of the excess properly so that there wasn't issues with the tip. I don't know. I am going to research a little bit more because I do have another set of nails that I'm going to try after I take these off at some point. So we'll, we'll see how long these last. But if you want to know how long these Dash and Diva nail strips last on my fingers, you're going to want to follow me at a relaxed gal on Instagram because I'm going to be sharing it there. This is basically the end of the video, so you ain't going to get no more on this topic from me in this video here on my YouTube channel. So now I want to hear from you if you've used the Dashing Diva nail strips or you've used other. So now I want to hear from you if you've used Dashing Diva nail strips before or you've used another brand of nail strips because there's several others out there. Go ahead and leave in the comments below about your experience. Did you like them? Did you not like them? Would you use them again? Any tips that you have for people who are trying out those nails? And also while you're commenting, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like so that YouTube knows that you like my content and that really does help my channel. And also please go ahead and subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to know when I upload new videos, go ahead and hit the bell button so that YouTube can notify you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.